Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beat video. Today I'm going to be testing out the Scorcher Plus Medic strategy. I'm not quite sure how well this is going to go, but I have two boats of Medics and four, five, six, six. I can't count six boats of Scorchers or six boat of Scorchers. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for the strategy. I've done a couple of tags. This is the Mortar strategy. I just, I just made it up on the spot. I know it's bad, but yes, I have six boats now that are level 21. I only have two more, and I don't like doing the my gear hard days because you all your troops die, and it's a gear hard day today. So, but this is gonna end in 10 hours. So, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna try to get another boat up and just try to push to the very end because this is the most expensive upgrade in my base now. And as soon as that's done, all my other upgrades are super easy and like pretty cheap. Okay, not that cheap, but they are, they're not like 4 million of each cheap. Okay guys, so let's just do this, and uh, I'm gonna show you two attacks here. This is my very first attack of this strategy. What I've realized is, your medics are probably gonna die, and your goal is to keep the medics alive. Like, see right here, boom. You need, uh, I could have landed that a lot better. The way I landed that was just bad, so he takes down another, the red boom cannon right there. Is like clutching it up for his teammates, and he's like, oh yeah. So I'm just trying to get some critters down to distract what i like about this strategy is i'm not sure the medics do anything but what i like about this strategy is that uh it doesn't take 100 energy to land all your troops like it takes like 80 energy to land all your troops it doesn't take like, 100 energy so this boom cannon is just going to be focused on all of this stuff and i'm just dropping critters just trying to get it down with critters and that turned out well and the medics are getting spread out and look at this Look at this. I try to take it out, but he runs, and I kill him. I don't know if he would have died by the boom mine. I think he still would have died, but it's just like, oh, what did I do that? So, this guy's on fire, or this guy was on fire, and I don't think... The Scorchers don't burn their own troops. I'm pretty sure the Scorchers don't burn. They don't burn critters, so I don't see why it would burn something else. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. This guy is like scribbly letters, and again, I lost a medic here, and I can't figure out where I lost it, so I'm gonna try to figure out in this video, and I'm gonna try to analyze this and see where I lost it. So I placed him a little better this time. I get him placed a lot better, actually. And I have him in my tw level 21 boats, because then I'll be able to hold all five instead of four, and or is it six instead of five? I don't know. It's one of us. So I'm just moving up through the base. Uh, the Arya, the Scorcher over here is almost dead. And like, come on, bro, stay alive. Okay. So we're just moving, plowing through the base here. The Scorchers are just doing their work. I'm not sure the medics are doing anything. Look at they have their own little uh, cult, just like healing up each other. And uh, I get this shock blaster down to a good amount. And instead of taking it down with one more artillery. I just want this guy to go over there and kill it, and he does. He clutches it up for me, and uh, it went over, oh, over, oh, over. Oh, I can't talk. It went well. The battle went well. I dropped some critters to help the HQ, and it went well. It wasn't like the perfect battle. I think I probably could have did it a little better without the medics, just with another boat of scorchers, or never two boats of scorchers. But then I would need to boost up my gunboat energy or something but yes the base goes down and we are good we didn't lose any we only lost one medic which isn't that bad and now let's do a couple live attacks and you guys can see this strategy in action so we're going to start with carrot feeder this is the very 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 easy npc base we're just going to try to i always go down from here so what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to let my Scorchers go out a little bit, and then I'm going to drop my Medics, and that's going to help the Medics so they don't run all over the place, they're going to know where to run, and they stay, gonna, they're going to actually stay behind the Scorchers instead of run out in front of them, so we're just going to drop a couple uh, Shock Launch, Shock Bombs, and we're just going to drop a couple Barrages over here just to help take down the Boom Cannon and the Shock Launcher, it doesn't look like the Shock Launcher is going to be taken down, so we're just going to drop one more Artillery, five so we get to hold five instead of four which is good okay and there's always that one scorcher that decides to run all the way down here to v so i just gotta help them finish off these and it looks like we're good and the medic's not gonna die it looks like we're good we did not lose any medics which is a very rare sight we're just gonna drop like four critter boxes yeah i was right that time and they're all gonna boom and it was like a victory where it all booms in victory okay whatever Okay, here we go. Next next person. We're going to do another player base. I haven't looked at this guy, so I don't know what he's going to look like. And he does look pretty hard for this strategy, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm just like, nope. Okay. this You got you guys got to learn that there's some bases that you can't. Okay, now this guy's boosted up health. 
There's some bases that you can take down, and there's some bases where you can't take down with a strategy. So, that was the base that we can't take down. This is the base that, I, oh no, he is two freaking doom cannons. This is a base that I would do with warrior attacks, uh, which I'll do a little later in the day when I chin up my army for Gearheart. And I'm not going to do Gearheart in this video because Gearheart is super OP, guys. Like, now after the update. It's like not even fair for us. We're gonna drop our medics here and we gotta take down this shock blaster. That should do it. Nope, we need one more. Pay me, pay me, pay me, pay me, pay me. Come on. Good, good, good. So we're gonna do a shock here. To keep all those. That was actually a good shock. That's something you don't want to do. You don't want to have all of those in one shot. We're going to shock that. And we're going to do... We probably won't be able to pull off that clutch shot again. But we just did it, guys. We pulled off the clutch shot two times in a row. Which is really, really OP. And we're going to do it again. Can we do it again? We do not get it. And we do not... That was actually really, really bad. That was actually bad. Okay. Okay, we're just going to be moving into the base here. The only thing that's left is a threat is the shock launcher in the back, I believe. So we're just going to place a barrage over there on that. And guys, I forgot to mention, I'm going to be gone for the coming weekend. So I won't be home and I won't be recording videos. So it kind of stinks, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do. I did lose a, a medic, which is kind of guaranteed with the strategy. But, you know, it's always bad when you actually lose one. Uh, and this guy isn't gonna go down, so we're just gonna. I hate it when they walk away because then it, 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 it uh, they just have to stay focused. If they stay focused, everything goes well. If they don't stay focused, we fail here. So, we're just gonna move up through the base. I'm just trying to use all my extra energy and focus it all on the shock launcher. I'm probably gonna need one more of it. That's like a maxed out shock launcher, which is kind of rare for level 57. Well, actually, it's not that bad. A lot of people try to upgrade those. So we finished the base. We only lost one medic. And I probably would have lost a Scorcher if I did not have those medics. Because that guy is super low. Or maybe not. You never know. But yes, we lost a medic. I'm going to be doing one more battle on camera. And then I will end the video. So let's try to find a player base and get this out of the way. Level 59. I think I could do this. We'll look at the base. Any prototypes? He does have one. No health. Okay, we'll do it. He's online, isn't he? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. We want a player base. Level 58. Level 58. We're going to see if this level 58 is good. He only has one prototype. He does have health and a pretty high damage. Actually, not that high damage, but uh, we'll do it. We'll do it. We got nothing to lose, guys. This is the last video, and I'm going to be training up a warrior army. So, we're going to be good here. I just landed them all at the same time. And the medics are going to be following the Scorchers, which is a good idea. Oh, no, they're just going to stop at those. They're going to stop at the flags until they get wounded like they just did. And we're just going to drop two barrages. we got to try to take this down. We're going to drop that. We are able to take that down, which is super clutch. We're going to shock that to keep that shocked. Because if the Scorchers get shocked, then the medics are going to run out in front of the Scorchers and all die. So that's why we're shocking the shock launchers. Uh, we'll just get that shocked again. I placed one. Get down. Get down. Okay. Gotta get down and dirty. Okay, there we go. We're gonna shock that. And. Okay, we're gonna shock. We're gonna place a critters and a critter veg to distract the boom cannons. Because shock launchers, boom cannons, they're definitely the biggest threat against this strategy. So, we just gotta keep them alive as long as possible. We're just gonna drop a couple more critter boxes. Looks like we're going good. The guy up there is kind of low, but I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue. I think we're going to be able to beat the base. And this is a base that I would not be able to do with without with warriors because of the shield generator being in the middle there. So, shield generator drops, and now we are on the HQ, which is a good idea, although it was only like a level 2 shield generator or level 1. So, here we go, and we did lose no scorches, but we did lose a couple medics. We lost two medics, which kind of stinks, but in the end, it's fine because... That's what the medics are for, yes. That's what the medics are for. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always. And I will talk to you people in the next video. Bye.